Hey friends, this is Miss L here. I am just going through my preschool checklist and I wanted to show off my beautiful classroom planner that I just got this year. Um, the brand is like the hardest thing to say, Beer 2 and Company. And it is actually a teacher designed planner that's comparable to the Erin Condren. Um, you can buy it on Etsy. Um, inside the package that I got is a really nice thank you letter. They added some nice additions, some extra weekly planning sheets for every month. Um, they added some more sheets to the back. Um, and I just absolutely love the quality of this. And really what's cool is that, see I even have it tabbed, today starts their back to school sale. 15% off with this code BTS15 at checkout. And I will link everything in the description. So this is the two things that I got. The planner and this pad here. This is a weekly pad. Let's start with that. So it's the size of a sheet of paper. It has a section for like a little to-do list. This is my favorite part. It has a quality check so you can either use it for attendance, behavior. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but it has a lot of sheets and spaces available. Um, remember to call or email. I like this spot because I'm always reminding myself randomly throughout my day of all the things that I have to do. And then a quick little Monday through Friday. This is probably where I'll put all of my meetings. So again, the size of a sheet of paper. And this was only $8. And I think, I'm not sure how many pages it has. I think it's upwards of 50. So again, $8, size of a sheet of paper. I absolutely love it. Now this is the planner, so you can see compared to the size of a sheet of paper, it's just smaller height-wise, but it's pretty nice width. It has some really nice coils. Um, I've had this for about two months now, and I've been playing with it, adding some stickers in it, and the coils are actually super durable and strong. I got this uh, edition, which is $35 right now on their Etsy site and their website. Um, this is like the teacher's dream planner. Um, I just like it because it's cute. So as soon as you open it up, you actually get these pockets here. Um, they're not too thick, so you can't store too much stuff in it. As you see, I've already decorated it. Get your nice little teacher page. You have your daily schedule and your special schedule. That's kind of nice for beginning of the year. School directory, safety procedures, your favorite substitute list early release schedule. I might put um, on here throughout the school year, we have different clubs that are after school on certain days. So I might just put those on here. And then we start getting into the passwords and the student data. So this is their roster and their ID number. We have a really nice thick tab right here, which I love, very durable. A uh, little birthday section transportation. I uh, definitely do that in pencil. Allergy, medications, some spaces for a seating chart. And then we start getting into student passwords. And I love this. It has so many spaces. It has 30 spaces, so almost three pages. And it has the website, username, and password. And for each student, it has four, four sections that you can fill in nice to keep tabs on everyone, especially if you teach primary. They're always forgetting their stuff. We have some more student info. Just has the parent contact information right there ready to go. So you have to go through your paperwork or go through the online section. There's about six, seven pages, probably enough for 30 students. Then we have this really nice conference schedule. Again, really nice tabs on the sides. So here's all of our parent logs. There's another page for conferences. So this is just a really nice section to keep. Um, I have a online version that I use and there's edible, on their Etsy, there's an edible teacher planner for $8. It's all the digital files. So you print it and bind it yourself um, that I absolutely love. There's several pages of those parent teacher conference log. And then we get into the checklist. Oh my gosh, I love it. I am so obsessed. Super colorful. Again, 30. And I like over here how it reminds you what students because I'm always forgetting. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 12 pages, and then we have assessment data. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use this to color code some incoming data of my students. Again, 30, that's way more than what you'll need because at max in the state of Florida for elementary, you have like 22. So we have three pages of assessment data. I'm gonna use this again for incoming and probably quarterly data or semester data. Then at the beginning of every single month, you have a to-do list and you can section it off and organize it however you want if you're involved in clubs. Every month you will have blank spots. So it'll just say August and it'll have all these like empty dots. So what I did is I went through and I've already filled in all of the dates. This is my cute little uh, planner guide that tells me what month it is. This is not from their website. I will link this from the Etsy shop. Uh, in the description. I always love having these cute little planner things. And here is what the week looks like. So before then there's some just some notes pages that I haven't used yet. So you have the week, you have the date. Let me zoom in. Um, it has standard or objective up to you to put that in. Um, so this is like ELA if you're doing ELA every day. And then it has some more pages over here. So each week has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots that you can fill in. And here's what it looks like if my camera would zoom in from up above. Again, really cute, really colorful, super playful. And then you go right into the next month. So I bought the edition that goes from August, September, October, November, December. Oh, these are so cute. They're super, like I said, they're super colorful. Definitely some themes going on here. And it goes all the way to July. All the way to July. So I go from August to July. And those of you who are in Florida in Pinellas County know that we start August 10th, but we definitely don't go all the way to July. But this is some ni a nice planner for me if I want to pre-plan or just some extra space for me. Uh, and then we have our notes pages. Now you have a ton of notes sections in here. What I will probably do is I'll probably put my PLC information in here. And then at the very back, a really nice thank you message from the creator, Jose Cortez, and he is a teacher. So this is definitely teacher thought. And then again, another really nice pocket. I love these gold corners. That's really why I wanted it is because it looks cute. And again, if you look the inside binding, if you wanted to add pages, you can, but you don't have to. Um, I just absolutely love the design. So yeah, that is how I am going to be trying to stay organized this school year. Again, uh, this company has a 15% off site-wide sale. And I did just look on their website their notepads are $8, but they also have some of their older versions of the planners with some minor imperfections for $20. And they have a new one for $40. They also have um, some clipboards, uh, again, digital files. This one was for $35, and I highly recommend it. I had a, uh, a girlfriend with her Erin Condren, and then I put them side by side, and you could definitely tell the quality and the amount of thought put into all of this. Absolutely amazing. So. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with everyone you want to share, and remember, save yourself some money and use this back-to-school sale coupon. Love you guys, see ya, and have a fantastic school year.